Hello there everyone, the Jedi Brick here. Today I'm going to be making a bit of a different video for you guys. I'm going to be talking about the LEGO Star Wars Custom Retailer, Clone Army Customs. So, if you guys do not know who Clone Army Customs is, they have come onto the LEGO scene about a year and a half ago, and they are taking the custom community by storm. They have made custom clone after custom clone, and they are all just phenomenal looking. Um... So I'm going to be talking about them in today's video and also reviewing a few of their products. But before I really get into this video, I do just want to make it very clear that this video is not sponsored or endorsed by Grandpa Clone Customs or GCC or any of their resellers. This all is, I have paid for all these figures with my own money and they are not paying me to say any of this. All thoughts and opinions on them are my own. So, we're going to start off with a brief history and just some background information about GCC. So, what makes GCC really so unique is the way they produce their customs. And almost every single one of them is made on 100% official LEGO parts and pieces. So, when you're just holding the quality, it is an official LEGO minifigure. It just has a unique printing on it. So... It's not like one of those knockoff brands where the arms don't fit in all the way, you know. It's just a very crappy, you know, lower quality plastic that's being used. All the pieces, or a majority of the pieces, are all Lego pieces and they're just printed on top. And the printing itself is really what makes these customs so unique. They are pad printed, which, if you guys do not know, that is the same way Lego produces uh, its prints with its own official minifigures. It's pad printed, like it's stamped on. I'm not really too sure how it all works, but it is the same way that Lego prints their pieces, So, which is very, very cool. So when you're having a minifigure that is GCC and an official Lego clone trooper, um, it's kind of hard to tell which is which um, if you weren't super in the know about what troopers are in production at which points and everything. So... They really do blend in with, you know, the typical Lego Star Wars minifigure. And they do mostly produce Lego Star Wars minifigures, specifically clones. But they do have a few other um, minifigures. I'm just taking a look at their website right now to make sure what I'm saying is actually correct. But that is one interesting thing about GCC. And in my experience with custom minifigures, there are quite a few like different routes you can go with custom minifigures. You can go the route with GCC, where it's Lego authentic, where if you put a minifigure, like I said, a minifigure beside one, and you would be kind of hard to tell which is actually official from the factory with Lego. And then, there, of course, there are other ones where it's... um like these really hyper detailed clone troopers with like printing on the back of the legs and like it looks like a mini glorified action figure and everything. So there's quite a few different routes with custom minifigures that you can go with. And of course there's the Republic Bricks version which are stolen and crappy designs. So GCC has a variety of minifigures that are up for sale right now. Um, just taking a look at their website right now they have a uh, Cad Bane that you can buy, a Bounty Hunter Sun, which is Django Fett. You have this really cool Captain Lime with printed arms. You have a Commander Yellow Deluxe, which is the 312th Commander Bly, I believe that is who that is. And you have a bunch of different helmets that are for sale. So if you're one of the people who don't like the helmet holes on the new Clone Troopers, you can go on there and you can buy a bunch of custom helmets in bulk without the helmet holes, and then you could just swap them out on your official LEGO Clone Troopers. You have some para replica helmets. You have arc troopers. You have wolf troopers, which we'll take a look at in a minute. You have recon 91st legion clone troopers. You have an Anakin Skywalker, a Mon Mothma. You have um, a Jedi librarian. I'm forgetting her name. Jocasta New. That's it. Um, the Chicken Man from Breaking Bad. You know. So there is quite a variety on Grandpa Clone Customs website, and I really like what they're doing. They are a way for the hardcore Lego Star Wars fans, the collectors, the prequel fans, to get those minifigures that they really want in Lego, in that Lego style, where it's not hyper-realistic, it's not printed on bad plastics, it's not a stolen design that Timmy claims is his own. You know, it's something that 
you could put with your clone army and it's the it matches up so well it doesn't look blatantly obvious that it's a custom you know it's it's just a great way it's just a great unique thing that we don't really have a whole lot of in the lego community we have things like clone army customs which does a great job and i love their work and i have a like a few of their custom helmets but sometimes um they look a little too hyper realistic and they just kind of stick out a little bit and you know their helmets don't really match with um the lego style ones like i'm looking at a um cloner mccustoms helmet right now and it does just look different like it does kind of stick out a bit and the way they print on their minifigures and stuff is um different than the way uh gcc does and it's a different kind of printing which i'll get into a little bit when i review um the minifigures here but there is quite a variety of what's on their site right now and the interesting thing about GCC, which this could either be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it, is the minifigures kind of swap out every month or so. They have, like, monthly drops of the newest stuff, which can be overwhelming for some people. I've been watching a lot of reviews in preparation for this video where, you know, you have a bunch of minifigures coming out once a month that are all $20 or more, and... You don't want to miss out on any of them because the aftermarket for GCC is insane. Believe me, the aftermarket on these minifigures is absolutely crazy, almost double than what you would pay for on the website. And, you know, you have that fear of missing out on a clone trooper and they sell out so fast. You just want to get them all so you don't regret it later on the line and all that stuff. But they get new minifigures about once a month, I believe, at this point. And they are all really great. The quality on all of mine, at least, are spot on. Like, um, we'll take a look at the Wolf Pack Troopers later on, but I'm not sure how well you guys can see that on camera right now. But it looks like something Lego would make. That's what I love about these so much. The the quality is there. The like the attention to detail. The style is there. It doesn't have arm printing. It doesn't have printing on the back of the legs. It doesn't have that weird three sixty um, printing on there or anything. But it, it has that Lego design, you know, like I keep saying. And that's what I love about GCC is that it fits in. Um, but at this point, I'm just kind of repeating myself with that point. Um, yeah, I really like what they do. But there are, of course, some downsides to this. Um, I have seen some videos where the quality of the minifigures they get just aren't great. Um, like sometimes the printing isn't really lined up or... A torso comes cracked and you know stuff like that happens even with official Lego products even though it is kind of uncommon but you know something like that could you know upset a lot of people and rightfully so you pay almost $20 for a single clone trooper the prices are pretty extreme um, and then have it come broken I'm not too sure like what their exchange policy and stuff is on this I'm not really sure how good their customer service is i haven't really heard anything it's i'm sure it's better than republic bricks i'm sure they respond but you know it's i don't know like if you spend 20 dollars on a clone trooper and it comes with a cracked torso it's different than a cracked hand you can't just replace that hand um because all the printing and stuff is on there it might come with a heel crack or maybe something might just get the wrong thing entirely i don't know the it's not a multi-billion dollar corporation that's, you know, prided on its customer service. I think we can all agree that Lego has amazing customer service. I think, you know, I've heard lots of things about people saying, oh, I missed a piece, contacted them, I, it got shipped to me in a few days or whatever. So Lego really prides themselves on that aspect of if there's a problem with something that you bought, we'll help you fix it. So that is really great and one of the things I love about Lego so much. And a smaller company isn't going to be able to have that, I believe. So that's something to look out for. Um, but still, I feel like getting something that's misprinted or, you know, broken is a very rare occurrence because I believe they do have a very high quality control of the products and stuff that they ship out, which I think is great. Um, it doesn't feel like it's a cash grab. It doesn't feel like it's, 
you know, trying to make a quick buck, I can really see the attention to detail and stuff that are on these minifigures. And again, that's one of the things I like about it so much. It just feels so genuine. But I feel like that's all I have to say about, you know, just taking a look at the minifigures themselves. Um, like I said, I did want to discuss the, the prices because they are kind of extreme. So I'm going to be like fully transparent and stuff how much I paid for all these minifigures again because this wasn't sponsored. But <clears throat> I ordered two of these. I ordered two wolf pack troopers um and they were eighteen dollars each which is crazy for two lego minifigures um i ordered them from gcc's website you can order from other sites he has a bunch of uh resellers that he works with directly there's places like tom the builder which i have ordered from in the past there's camino bricks um kyber bricks i believe Mayday Figs. There's a bunch of really great resellers for a bunch of places across the world. So I'm really happy that they do that. So if you do live in America or another country that isn't China, I would recommend going to those places as well because you can probably get a better deal with shipping. And that's kind of where a lot of the money went for me with these minifigures because I did have to pay a bit more in shipping to come from China all the way to the United States. So you know, that is something to also consider since these are all being made in China, which is why I believe the printing process is possible because they just have better access to those types of machines in China. So, you know, I think that's why the printing process is even being able to be done on these minifigures because um, those machines can be pretty pricey. And that's why a lot of American sellers go a different routes with pad printing and things but for those two uh wolf pack troopers almost twenty dollars each and that is a very much recurring theme when it comes to grandpa clone customs minifigures um so if you are going to buy an entire wave of gcc's products like every month that's a couple hundred dollars you're dropping on customs every month and that's if you just want to get one clone trooper i purchased four of these wolf pack troopers because <clears throat> i like the wolf pack i i bought the commander wolf and you know i wanted some troopers to go with him so i bought two and i was like why not get two more so i can have you know four wolf pack troopers and then the commander wolf which does look very very cool but you know once you have that kind of mindset of wanting to army build these things it can get pricey it can get very very pricey and i like i'm sure a lot of you would like multiple of these troopers especially if you don't think lego is going to come out and make them at any time soon i don't think we're going to see the wolf pack anytime soon in lego so i figured why not buy a few now because the aftermarket for figures like this is quite extreme and i didn't want to pay almost $40 for at least one clone trooper. I can get them for 20 now, you know, 20 each. So then I would have a few on hand if I wanted them for something. So that's the reason why I spent so much on those. And I haven't regretted it yet. Um, I only do have two so far. I'm still waiting on the other two to come in the mail, but I do think they look great. Um, just for $20, it, it's quite, it's a lot. It really is a lot. You know, if you put that into perspective with Lego, that's almost a battle pack that can buy you the new Rex Micro Fighter. Um, you know, so it is a lot to ask of people to spend almost $20 on a clone trooper. But, you know, if it's a clone trooper you really want, then I guess go for it. Um, it's just a lot to spend each month if that's you know what you want to do um and of course i have spent quite a bit on some gcc products like the wolf pack troopers and also i've made the videos about my custom clone legion with the gcc helmets the dark green ones um i did spend not a lot but i did drop about 20 dollars for the entire 
all of those helmets. They were like two dollars each, or something on the website. They were two fifty. They had them on sale individually, so that's what I did. So I did kind of army build those helmets, and they do have quite a lot of helmets for sale. Like I said, so if you wanted to swap out, you know, the shock trooper helmets with the helmet holes, you could do that. But you know, they do have a lot of options of things you would want to do, and that's great. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about uh, GCC for right now. So let's move on to the review. So like I said, I have the Commander Wolf, the two Wolf Pack Troopers, and the Fox Upgraded Torso and Legs to show you guys. And I'm also going to compare it to um, this Hauser minifigure that I have from... Uh, this is a Republic Bricks one. You could also get it on... Um, Clone Army Customs, if you don't want to support Republic Bricks, which I encourage no one should. But, you know, so I'll just compare those ones and stuff. So, let's do that now. So, here are the two Wolfpack Troopers I've been talking about. And, hopefully, you guys can really see the quality in these minifigures. And how they really do replicate that Lego design. It uses the same, you know, printing techniques and everything like that. So... When you buy these, you really are essentially getting a authentic Lego clone trooper. And I think that is great. You can see the back printing on there with that gray on the top. It looks great. You have, of course, that really nice wolf pack printed design on the front. And I really like these clone troopers a lot. I'm kind of happy that I got four of them because I would love to have more of these. Um, one thing I am probably going to do is just swap out the arms for gray. Um, they didn't offer an arm printed option, which I don't really care about, but if you guys have watched my videos for a while now, you know how I just prefer to have colored arms on my clone troopers, especially if they are from a legion that has some sort of color on them. So I'll just swap these out with some dark gray arms and I'll call it a day with those. These do not come with any uh, head print underneath as well, which I don't really think is that big of a deal. But it would have been nice if they included a face print for $20 for each clone trooper. So I might just add on some of my own clone heads that I have extras just laying around. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. But, you know, I think they really should have included something underneath there for what you're paying, like I keep saying. But other than that, I think these are really nice clone troopers. They don't come with any weapons or anything. They just come as the figures. Which I don't really have a problem with. Again, I have a bunch of extra blasters I can give these guys. And I do think they look really, really cool. I love the printing on top of the helmet. That wolf just looks so, so cool. I think GCC really did a good job with these clone troopers. I can't really find anything wrong with them. I can't find anything really bad to say about them. I think they look just as good as something LEGO would make. If not, maybe slightly better. They don't have the helmet holes, so if... Uh, your anti-helmet hole, this is a great figure for you. Um, I don't really care about helmet holes, so I can kind of go either way. But they don't have helmet holes, and I do want to point out that these helmets are official LEGO. Actually, no, I stand corrected. These are not official LEGO. So they do print their own helmets with ABS plastics, uh, which is the same type of plastic that LEGO um, uses to make their pieces. So that also probably helps keep the price down a little bit. If they used official Lego helmets, the prices would probably be slightly higher. So they custom make their own helmets. Um, so that is also something to consider if you're buying this. The helmets are not official, kind of like what Clone Army Customs does with their custom helmets. These ones just kind of fit the Lego design more. But speaking of Clone Army Customs, here's their custom Hauser minifigure. And I just brought him over here so I can compare the styles of printing and everything to show you guys. So one of the most blaring uh, things that are different between these two, other than the color, of course, is the helmets and just how different the uh, Clone Army Customs helmets look from GCC. They are their own design. They do have a different like face style and everything, completely different mold. They do have holes on the sides of the helmets. Uh, for accessories and stuff. So if you wanted to attach stuff on there, you could with the uh, Clone Army Customs helmets. Of course, uh, you can see that horrible logo down there. Uh, Republic Bricks. Can't stand you. And anyways, um, 
These are great minifigures as well, but the printing is also different. I'm going to try to show it on camera. If I lift up the torso and I get the lighting just right, you can kind of see like these dots and stuff on there. And that's just the way it's printed on the torsos and things for the uh, Corn Arby Customs Lego um, print. And also if you kind of like rub your finger on the printing, you can really kind of feel the texture and stuff on there because it's like almost raised slightly above the torso. So, you know, you rub your finger on there, you can kind of feel like the bubbles and stuff. And that what you're feeling is the print. You can do the same thing on the uh, GCC customs and any official Lego minifigure and you won't feel that. It's just the way these are printed as well. And no helmet underneath Hauser as well, but it is a custom Clone Army Customs helmet there as well. Um, so that's just a quick comparison between the two companies and the way they do things. I do think GCC is slightly better though, although uh, Clone Army Customs has been part of the LEGO custom community for years now, and they were really everyone's go-to uh, place for a clone custom helmet or minifigure, and they have kind of gotten dethroned by GCC in the past year or so. I do love Clone Army Customs. Um, I love the th things they make, and they definitely have a lot of variety, and that's one thing they will always have above GCC is they have such variety when it comes to what they're producing, and, you know, they don't really do limited drops like GCC does. You could go on, you could buy this Hauser minifigure right now still. Um, if you wanted the Wolf, Pack Trooper, it's probably sold out by now because people buy them, they scalp them and stuff, and it's kind of scummy, but that's one thing I do like about uh, CAC, uh, that they have a lot of variety. This next minifigure we have here is Commander Wolf, and they did such a good job with this custom minifigure, just showing you guys what this minifigure has to offer. Of course, you have the waist cape, which definitely is appealing to almost everybody who buys uh, custom minifigures. We all want the waist capes back. It made sense to not put one on a playset minifigure, but to get rid of them entirely, especially on that Venator, come on, Lego, you need to bring back waist capes. Uh, this one, like I said, does have that waist cape on there, which is included. It has printed arms, which is very nice as well, but I would say it's not really necessary. I'm probably going to swap them out for just uh, regular arms. I'm still not really sure where I sit on that on that fence where uh, the printed arms or non-printed arms on clones. I'm kind of in the middle. It just kind of depends on the clone trooper for me. But that helmet just looks amazing. Does have the helmet holes the same style as Legos. I'm not sure if this is an official Lego piece or not. It is. This is an official Lego helmet. So that kind of drives up the price a little bit. I'm sure, but. It does look very good nonetheless. It's all in that dark gray. The printing on the helmet, like I keep saying, is just amazing. He comes with a rangefinder. The print on the torso is the same as the Wolfpack normal troopers, but I just love that arm print. I think it looks good. I might keep it now that I'm looking at it and stuff. It does come with a custom waist cape with black and gray on the trim, which I do think looks very nice as well. No head print on this one, unfortunately, but I did order a custom head to put on underneath this one. So that should be coming any day now, but I really love the way this minifigure looks. This next minifigure isn't really a minifigure at all. This is supposed to be an upgrade uh, pack thing for your Commander Fox that comes in the new Republic Coruscant Guard gunship. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to pick this up when I got the gunship, but, you know, I looked at... Commander Fox for a while and I got sick of looking at this stupid pink torso and I was like why not I'm going to replace him because you know when I just look at it side by side the torso and stuff I there is a big difference there really is when you look at the torso on the left the official Lego one where it has that slightly pink on the actual upper armor piece it does not look good it just doesn't I mean and I try to stay positive here in the LEGO Star Wars community. Always give LEGO the benefit of the doubt, but this one just does not look good. You couldn't have gone over it one more time with the white. Like, come on. That just kind of seems lazy in my opinion. And GCC really came to the rescue 
with this upgraded pack. So all you got to do is take your official Commander Fox here, put him on this torso and legs, put his head on there, put his helmet on. I would recommend swapping out the rangefinder or the visor for a black one. But then you can get this amazing looking custom version of Commander Fox. So this one, I think I'm definitely going to swap out the arms for. I don't think they look all that good. I mean, I think they just kind of make this stand out a bit more and make it look a little obvious that it is a custom. So I am probably going to swap out the arms, but they do look very, very nice. And of course, he does come with that Weeks cape as well. The legs are printed accurately, and that is just fantastic. So is the torso print, where the lower part of the chest armor is in the red instead of also being in the white. They did such an amazing job with this minifigure, and I really wish this is what we got from LEGO. I wish it wasn't necessary for us to go out and buy a whole separate torso and legs just to make our minifigure we already paid for look good. And this isn't that cheap of an upgrade thing either. This is about $20 extra on top of the gunship charge. So if you wanted to get a more accurate Commander Fox as well with your with your gunship, it's an extra $20. So that's going to be about $180 to get the gunship and this. But, you know, you don't have to get the gunship if you just want the Fox. You can buy it separately and everything. But if you have a Commander Fox, I would recommend getting this upgrade pack. I think they still have some available or they are going to bring it back for a limited time. I believe MNR also has some on whatnot and stuff. So if you guys wanted to buy it, there are still some out there for you to purchase, but I would act on it sooner rather than later. I think this really is a must buy for anyone who has that figure. It just makes it look so, so much better. All right, and that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I was kind of rambling a little bit there in the beginning talking about GCC, but I genuinely do think it is a good company. I like what they're producing, and I think they are going about it the best way they can you know, with shipping and like actually buying the Lego parts and pieces, I'm sure a lot of what they make is just going right back into making the products. I'm sure, you know, buying official parts and pieces like for the torsos and the legs does get a bit pricey. So having, you know, that extra price, I'm sure that factors in to buying more of the parts and stuff. So it just kind of sustains itself as it goes on. But I'm not really sure if that's true. That's just what I choose to believe. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about GCC and other custom companies in the comments section down below. Um, this was a lot of fun to put together. It gave me an excuse to buy more GCC figures and everything. So let me know what you guys think about them in the comments down below. And also, if you want me to review any other custom companies or anything else like this, uh, I think I might be making a video about Republic Bricks in the future. So let me know if you guys want to see me do that. Um, I've already stated a lot of my opinions and stuff on him in this video and in the past, so that'll be an interesting one to make. But with all that said, like and subscribe if you guys are new here. I love making LEGO content every week for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.